Hi everyone, today what we'll be doing is testing my computer with FutureMark's brand new software, 3 Mark, and we'll be using the Firestrike benchmark. And we're doing the performance preset and runs at a native 1920 by 1080 resolution for full HD. I'll be running two GTX 670s in Sly, highly overclocked, along with my um, Intel 2600K at 4.4 GHz. So we'll go ahead and start the benchmark. And what I'll do is I'll post the overclock settings in the description below. Now one thing I'd like to mention is I'm going to be using my HD camera to record this. Um, it's going to give pretty good quality, but one reason why I don't use Fraps is because it totally ruins your score and throws off your, the, um, the score at the end. And so I want to give you guys the most accurate score that I could possibly give. So that's why I'm going to be using my camera. And one other thing I did is I enlarged, I tried to enlarge the frame rate at the uh, bottom so you guys could see what I'm actually getting in real time. So first off, we got the first benchmark. Um, this actually is designed to test your geometry and illumination. This is done by hundreds of those little spotlights that both cast shadows and don't cast shadows. So it's really stressing the um, GPU as far as geometric lighting and stuff like that. And what I did was I cut out the uh, load times for you guys so you don't have to wait through that. Here we have the second test. Now the second graphical test is designed to test particles and the GPU simulates by using lots of smoke and spotlights to create detailed scenes that also heavily stress the GPU. As you can see um, in the scene, you can see just a bunch of particles going across the screen, you know, totally overdone in my opinion. Um, but this is just why it's meant to stress test your GPU so much in this new software that uh, FutureMark put out. And here we have the third test. Now this third test is a physics test. It's designed to put the least amount of stress on the GPU as possible. And so it will focus more on the CPU utilizing the Bullet Open Source Physics Engine library. Now here we have my favorite test. And this is the, um, the final test. It's a combined test. Um, it combines all the elements of the previous three tests. In addition, it does use tessellation, volumetric illumination, fluid simulation, particle simulation, FFT based bloom and depth of field. And you can see, if you hadn't noticed this before, uh, you can see the whole background just collapsing behind them. So we'll go ahead and see what score I got. It's loading. Oh, I went over 10,000. That's pretty good, I guess. Not too much to compare it to yet. We'll go ahead and zoom in there and see, uh, so I'll show you guys the detailed score. Now again, um, this is my first time running the test, and so I haven't found the best score for me yet, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, keep doing tests and overclocking and playing, tinkering with things until I get a, um, a better score, maybe if I beat this. And uh, what I'll do is I'll post that uh, updated score in the description below. That's it for now. I'd like to get, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe for more and upcoming videos. I'll do the other other two benchmarks as well. So I'd like to thank you guys again, and see you soon.